lucky enough to have uh, a good friend of mine, Maddie, here today to sort of tell us. Yeah, no, you're welcome. No worries. Thanks for coming on. Uh, for just a, we had a situation where we worked together recently, and um, it's a pretty cool story. So we're just going to go into that story a little bit more. Um, so I guess we'll start off with you, Maddie. You sort of like it's, the start of it was you sort of just gave me a call, and you know you had a situation. Yeah. So my cousin Vinny, he um, <laughs> gave me a call one day. We yeah. just got back from our honeymoon, me and Lauren, and yeah. said, "Oh, there's this house down the road." really nice and we should go have a look at it and we sort of laughed about it and said yeah whatever because we obviously just renovated our house in um, in West Beach so we weren't really ever thinking about looking at another property and um, yeah he said nah come and have a look just you know for a laugh and oh fine we'll go have a look yeah and anyway you came here had a look around and you know left and went yeah you know this is way out of you know our price range all that sort of stuff and it's never going to happen, but then gave it a few days and Lauren was, you know, starting to bring up some conversations and thought, oh no, here we go. Yeah. So we thought, well, it's a big, obviously going to be a big thing to try and obviously sell the house. We just obviously renovated to stay in forever yeah. and buy, you know, a much bigger property. So yeah, we called you. Yeah. And it's, it's pretty funny because like you call me and I'm like, you know, we're good mates, so I know yeah. your life, right? And you go, oh, listen, we're thinking about selling West Beach. I, I think I'm pretty much like, what are you yeah, talking about? Yeah. We just got you in there. You just done this like crazy reno, which was awesome, yeah. right? And like you always said, this is like a like a forever house for us. I'm yeah. like, all right, kill it, it's set, you know? And you go, no, 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 well, it's actually near Vinny's house down, you know, in Lockleys. I'm like, all right, ripper, yeah. right? So um, you guys went through, had a look, came to me and said, you know, this, this is going to work. I okay, go see your broker, make sure everything's uh you know yeah looking right for that setup because yeah. you know like i said it's a different jump to what you're in at the moment too right and i'm starting to think as an agent i'm like okay well west beach right? good market at least right so we're starting to get your house ready to sort of get onto the market as well right so i mean it was already pretty much done you had nice furniture luckily yeah. like we didn't have to worry about too much about staging we just did you know, some frames on the walls and that sort of thing got the the garden all, all renovated up and you know the plants back in at the front and that yeah. sort of thing, you know the jobs that you were wanting to do but just hadn't got around to doing yet so yeah you know and then it presented really really well too right but um, even before that it was like so you guys came here so what was the conversation you had like about this property like what did you like about it what drew, drew you to it um i think the character yeah um the owner was a builder so you can see the qualities put through the home all the dark wood features and um, added the second story himself, so it's got a, it's got the old feel downstairs with the fireplaces, and then upstairs it's very modern. So you get a bit of both. Initially, we were just drawn to only modern homes, but then um, yeah. I think as time went by, we started to realise you get the different feel you get from something with character. Oh yeah. So um, yeah, you've definitely got a lot of that here, you know, yeah. with the, the timber framework and the, and the ceilings and all that sort of thing. Yeah. And it's just like the light that comes into this house is is beautiful, and the size corner block. Um, you know, lots of parking, three, three, three garages, that sort of thing yeah. too, right? Yeah. And then so we had to go into phase one, which was sort of get you this property, yeah. right? So um, obviously another agent was selling that at the time. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't selling it. So um, being my friend, obviously I went straight onto them and started a negotiation with them. And being such a uh, popular, pro I mean, when you came through on that weekend, how many mm. people were here? At least ten, over ten groups, I yeah. think. Um, and. For the yeah. time you were here, at least, you know what I mean? Few, yeah, yeah, it was um, very busy. <laughs> you yeah. saw a lot of friends of yours and stuff yeah. too, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's how busy it was. Yeah, it's like like... having conversations with people I know here. Yeah. And um, yeah, you could tell even the agent was just sitting back because... Yeah, she knew she was onto the thing. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah. I mean, well, when I spoke to her, she's like, honestly, we've got eight offers in. I'm like... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm like killer. Well, I'm working with one of my best mates. So I don't want to let him down, right? Okay, this is going to be a tough negotiation, right? So we went straight into negotiating with her, and I mean, it took. They had best offers by on a Wednesday at, at 5 p.m. Yeah. Right, so they had all the offers sort of submitted by them. I knew from sort of what she was saying that it was probably about three solid ones, right? And then we really had to go into that. Uh, all right. What are we going to make our max? I know you want to spend this much and you yeah. think you can go up that high, but I don't want you to spend your max budget, you know, because I still want, you know, if something goes wrong, you want money behind. And obviously, I want to get you a good deal too, because I know what a fair price is, what overpaying is, and what 
you know, if you're buying something cheap for us too, right? Yeah. And this was always around that sort of fair price, being that it's Lockleys and you have that many people in there. So it was more like understanding everyone else's sort of situation as best we could because they can't obviously say too much and yeah. like sort of putting our best guess on where we'd like to end up. And I think by the end of it, like when everything was said and done, we she had the offers in by five, right? And I yeah. remember still negotiating at about nine o'clock that night with her, right? Because yeah. all the other offers had like counted and that sort of thing too. Yeah. And then we got, I'm like, listen, man, like this is it, best and final. We're not going anything over this. He said, if it's a dollar more, like he's happy to lose it, right? Yeah. Which I knew you were like, we kind of need bit more. But, you know, yeah. I said that to her just so we can try and get the deal done. Yep, no worries, leave it with me. Um, spoke to them. And then it was like 11, it was about 11 o'clock at night yeah. I came to your house yeah. so that contract, right? I'm like, listen, we've got to get this done tonight because yeah. it was like Easter long weekend and it was yeah. like, it was we like didn't do Thursday, it that night. It? Yeah, yeah. Thursday before Good Friday, yeah. If we didn't do it that night, it was like that all that time and, you know, we yeah. didn't want to get it in and get it done, yeah. right? But you also said, oh no, we're going to go in with unconditional offer, yeah. right? Now, that puts pressure on because like, we have to get your soul still in this time, mm. right? So, all right, we're, we're by. <laughs> yeah. I don't want you to put like pay more money than you have to as well, all right? So that puts us in a, in a sort of deadline time-wise. So we got the offer accepted, great, that was killer. Yeah. And then unfortunately we had to like budge a little bit on the uh, amount of time we could, set. we wanted 90 days, we had to come back down to sort yeah. of 60, right? Yeah. So they gave us 60 days in which to get your property on the market, and sold and settled, yeah. right? To try and line up these dates for you so it's just as smooth as possible, right? Yeah. Now, anyone in real estate knows it's, you know, it's kind of hard to do that. It, like if you've got a subject to sale, if you've got to sell, like if there's, if there's conditions to a contract to abide those conditions in that time, it can sometimes be tough. And subject to sale when settlement's usually the hardest, right? But luckily we could do it unconditional, but we knew between yeah. each other Hey man, we got a like really it's a subject to sell with cinema, yeah. but you were just yeah. wanted the house well, we that bad. To. You wanted to go unconditional for I'm like, no worries, let's mm. do it. All right? So we accepted the challenge. So then we had to go back to your place. All right? And then we're looking at how do we market your property now. Yeah. All right? Well I guess the first thing was pretty much it was good to meet with you straight away, because yeah. obviously if we gave it a few weeks, you know, we've got two months. Two weeks <laughs> is a long time. Yeah. So yeah, pretty much it was great that you came straight away. Yeah. First weekend, sat down, I think it was a Sunday afternoon, you know, sat there, went through everything. Yeah. Because um, had to get the ball rolling straight away. Yeah, man. Well, because like I knew the situation we were sort of coming into, right? And every day was sort of, that's why we rushed that contract to get through before Reese, so we could get that extra yeah. bit of timing was crucial for us, right? But then we had to be smart about it too. So yeah. first thing I said to you was sort of like, what's the best things about your house in West Beach that, you know, you think would attract most people because I've been there a lot, yeah. right? But you live there, obviously the owner knows what's the best thing about their house, right? So, I mean, yeah, there was a few different things, right? Had the lot size, obviously, and then... Yeah, big lot. Yeah. Um, pretty much we renovated everything inside and out, so there was nothing to do. You walk in and just live, mm. you know, straight away. Um, you know, brand new kitchen, brand new bathroom. You know, had three bedrooms, yeah, so, yeah. you know, it was four maybe a couple, small families were starting to think about who would actually come and purchase the property. Yeah, um, we're trying to find you from before. Like yeah, <laughs> those, those sort of buyers, right? Yeah. yeah. And it was good because, I mean, you spent decent money on some really good like appliances and yeah. fixtures. I well, mean, we had that, uh, the, the flu above the, above the, the roof. Oh yeah. my God. And that thing there, I mean, there's only two models that you can do that with. They can have it that high above yeah. uh, the cooktop, right? Yeah. Um, by regulations and that was one of the models that you had so obviously it was a good investment and that was really the main attraction when people walked in because you see this beautiful kitchen yeah right with this feature yeah. right in the middle of the room right so obviously we played on that too mm. right but it all wasn't kosher with the feedback I mean because we had the three bedroom we had the one bathroom we had yeah. the laundry around the outside yeah. right that we had to overcome but of course our luck what happens <laughs> next door goes on the market just yeah. before we list it right yeah <laughs> so, so yeah so it was like all right, we're getting this campaign. We know we're launching it next Friday. Yeah. The week before, right next door comes on. We see the sign, yeah. <laughs> Just went up. We see this sign come up. Oh my God, here we go, <laughs> right? It's exactly the same size of land, right? Yeah. But they had a fourth bedroom, right? And an uh, extra room as well. An like extra, a, like a living, living space. Yeah. yeah, right? So, and that one there, that sold in, in one weekend. 
you know, as yeah. well that first weekend, as well as one right around the corner too, because yeah, they were our most comparable mm. sort of products, and they both sold sort of straight away. And that one sold sort of the price that we we're thinking and hoping to get, right? Yeah. So now we're thinking, oh no, there's this bigger house next door. They just sold for the same price, but we've got the sort of Renault that we can kind of counter that with, right? Yeah. So we're hoping to sort of land around the same price still, yeah. right? Then. Uh, then we do our, <laughs> then we line up our first open for the Thursday night, right? The next week, and what happens that day? Yeah. Thunderstorms, right? <laughs> so gale, force wind. gale force winds in West Beach, going sideways, right? I'm surprised the sign didn't bloody. Well, it, it, if the next day, remember, <laughs> <laughs> we, had to, we had to reinstall it because yeah. the sign sort of flew out, and the flag, forget about it, that yeah. was gone. I think that's in the airport somewhere, <laughs> right? But um, that happened too. But we still had twelve groups through in yeah. that time, and that that's was all surprise. because when we sat down and talked about the marketing, right, we were very aggressive with what we wanted to do with price. And we knew that you know, that 10% range, we're trying to open it up mm. as much as we could and then put the pressure back onto me to negotiate that to the highest possible point. Yep. Right? So like, yeah, with you, you were a very smart sort of vendor and that you sort of looked and listened to the market, saw the, the trends that were happening and like acted accordingly, right? Because, I mean, luckily the house was already beautifully presented. Loz did a great job um, mm. getting it ready every week, as I'm sure you helped out too. Right? I'll yeah. give her the credit. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. Um, and it was just a matter of like drawing his attention to those features and, and trying to get those yeah. offers in, right? So how did you feel after sort of the first weekend of opens when you saw like, okay, the, sat the Saturday after the, the Thursday, a bit better weather, but we had about 10 groups through that day. So we had 22 yeah. in, in two opens, Yeah. right? It's obviously good. Um, I think I think one of the main things is picking the right, obviously starting price for the marketing mm. and to listen to your agent because the market is obviously changes and you can't just have a value in your mind and think, I'm going to get that. Yeah. you got to be reasonable and, um, you know, if you got to think what's the worst possible thing I'm going to get and accept it yeah. and then anything more to that is a bonus. Yeah. So that's how I guess we sort of, went along with what you were saying and trying to make the you know journey easy yeah we well, want to try and be as smooth as possible i mean it's if a we big left thing. it on there for yeah. four or five months trying to get a little bit more then we would have paid that back in you know insurance, but and, and man when we looked at your situation it was like okay you've you bought it like a year and a bit ago all right you've put this much into it to renovate it right now yeah I mean, we want to try and get a little bit out of it because you know, you're paying stamp duty and all those costings as well when you when you bought the property, right? We're aiming for this this dollar figure, yeah. right? I mean, at that time, the market, like here in Adelaide, I mean, from sort of October last year mm. was was Horrible. a bit of a bloodbath, right? Yeah. So we're, we're in a real down market trying to get a pretty premium price, which, you know, we thought was achievable anyway, right? So we did the right strategies to employ that, and then luckily from that weekend we generated what was five offers. We, yeah. we said we said as well we're going to do best and final by that Wednesday at uh, at five pm. Yep. Right. Um, so sort of lined up all these offers for then. Uh, they were all sort of, you know, in the range we we had put out, but there were some serious ones that we yeah. sort of broke it down to. Right. I mean, how's that for you? Like nerve? Like, is it good knowing that you've got five offers? Like, it's but, good, but mm. you never know. You might give it to someone that offers a couple of thousand more than someone mm. else, but you don't know if they're going to pull out the offer, um, if they're going to say it's subject to sale, and you know it can be a snowball effect if they're subject to sale, and then it just goes on and on and on. So yeah. we needed something done within a couple of months, signed, settled. So it was that's what made it nerve-wracking. Not the, um, I think the getting the sale because the marketing was done so well and we got onto things so quickly and you negotiated that was i felt comfortable with that yeah but just yeah making sure that actual the person buying it was actually going to go through with the deal yeah. that was the nerve-wracking part because like at that time in the market there was like no such thing as sort of an unconditional contract really yeah. they were very rare like yeah. you know like everyone was at least like sort of subject to finance and that sort of thing too and we're in a situation where we can't really accept too many conditions because like we got time mm. time critical situation here where we've yep. got to get things sold and settled in, in that sort of time period so we come to the night where it's uh, all right 5 p.m we've got these offers i'm calling everyone back at your house yep. as well <laughs> right you're there i'm like okay let me go in the other room you don't have to hear all this right yep. so working my magic 
one one of the offers had to like they were a young first home buy a couple too. Mm. They had to wait for their parents to sort of get home. Like, this man, there's not enough time to wait for. Yeah. I mean, it should be organised already, yeah. right? So we're pushing seven o'clock. Um, still negotiating with a couple of parties. The other ones had said like, you know, unless you come up to this sort of point, there's no point really doing that because you know they obviously didn't have the budget or they just they weren't serious enough to sort of come to that point, right? Um, but the ones that were there, so we, we were sort of playing two, not, we weren't playing against each other, but we had these two that were sort of competing, like 5,000, 5,000, 5,000, 5,000, sort of yeah. getting to that point. And then luckily the one that sort of came in over the top at the end was one that we weren't even really yeah. negotiating with at the start, and I'd been trying to call when he hadn't got back to me, he got back to me in the, like the 11th hour, yeah. and said, hey man, I want to come in over the top at this plate, unconditional, settle when, uh, you know, whenever he wants to settle, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Wait, Amazing. what? Yeah. Like, how, how is this possible? Like, we've been putting it out there. We want someone who's like that, yeah. right? So then we can sort of line them up together. So like, that night we accepted that unconditional offer and with those terms, which was great. Yep. And then it was a matter of sort of going back to the agent for this property and then sort of lining up those so two dates as, yeah. as well, right? Yep. Which was another thing we had to venture into, yep. right? Because <laughs> For you, I mean, what was your, like, your ideal situation was to what, obviously, settle on the same day, right? Yeah, well, um, obviously, we obviously had a house full of everything, and you can only pack and, you know, leave so much stuff at your parents' house. Yeah. <laughs> you can't leave couches and this and that, so yeah. we had, we, you know, wanted to settle on the same day, and, you know, the, the people that own this property wanted it gone mm. as soon as possible, which is good, mm. and, you know, the guy that bought our property really... I think he wanted it pretty soon too. Yeah. So, yeah, we've sort of met in the middle with both. Mm. Somehow aligned all the dates up, so it was exactly the same day. And mm. yeah, that was a very busy, busy time. Man. Also stressful day, but it was good to get it all done in a day. Man, the relief, the yeah. relief, and everything was through cooling off and deposits were paid and all that, man. And like we we had uh, negotiated those dates. And we got you sort of more than what you wanted, really, that yeah. we allowed for in, in the West Beach place and got this for a lot better price than, you know, you like your budget was, yeah. you know, so there was still some left, which was good, you know. So we sort of like achieved all of our goals in this yeah. situation, right, and then came out with this beautiful product that you get to like live in and grow into as a family, which for me is the most rewarding part because yeah. not only like just with you because you're one of my good mates, but like with anyone, it's like, if real estate, that's what it's about for me, is helping them on their journey, right? Yeah. And this is like, you know, I'm going to be here all the time anyway, but like seeing you and your family grow into this now and you and Loz sort of start growing your family into it because that's the plan, you know, in, in the spot that you want to be, you know, it's just yeah. something that uh, we've achieved in your life together and it's going to be like f like that for us forever, you know what yeah. I mean? It's always going to have that memory to share, yeah. right? So for me, that's that's been something really cool in this process is yeah. that, because you always get worried working with friends and family, man. Yeah, like it's would. it puts such a different element of like pressure onto everything, right? Because you know it's already a pressure industry being in real estate. But we got like when you're good mates, yeah, you definitely don't want to like yeah. <laughs> let anything go wrong. But some things are out of control. I mean, you play guitar, right? You've been in bands and that sort of yeah. thing too. You go on stage if your amp blows, right? Yeah. That sucks, right? But if you're at your best mate, best mate's wedding, yeah. And your air blows, is, yeah. right? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's a different perspective on it too. So, I'm just thankful that it went went through like this too, because it was a good experience for me too, and it's actually like a lot of fun. Yeah. In in the process, no, right? Good. In a high stress situation, and we we able to clutch it out in a sense, yeah. right? Line and up those you dates. Need, yeah. You need someone that actually knows, has experience, someone like yourself, because you know, as buyers, you can sometimes get sucked in and when you sell you can get sucked in sometimes and you need someone that has a level head mm. knows the market knows what's going on <clears throat> knows how to discuss with people so that's where you really helped us really yeah, yeah. no thanks for that i appreciate it thanks for letting me be a part of it thanks for agreeing to do this thing.